Hello darlings and welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the curious mind of Raquel Carter. I am so happy that you have joined me again once again this week. I showed a little bit of video um, prior to me starting this because I wanted to just see a bit about the cottage you know? because I want to encourage and I'm always for sharing beautiful experiences and the little you know snippets of things that I've been doing around the cottage to inspire you for your own cottage cottage of belonging as well as you up to snuff with what's going on with the cottage settlement okay so but today I wanted to just share a, sm a small short video because I wanted to share another uh, success story and as I've been diving more and more into Neville Goddard's uh, work and everything obviously I'm constantly working through his books um, invariably I have read his books numerous times all of his books numerous numerous times but you're always going to find things that will help you to clarify a particular instance in your life you know when I'm manifesting a particular thing and trying to understand the law more clearly because obviously everyone's expanding at a progressive rate and as well as Neville did and as well as little Razzy is doing so but as I was giving the cottage a good once over and hoovering the floors I thought you know what I should share that little success story about my rugs my Turkish rugs that I manifested and to give you an idea of how manifestation works. Now listen, I know most of you that are watching my channel that are beautiful, lovely, wonderful subscribers are already, I'm sure, know about the law, okay? But I thought it's always so fun because for me personally, I really, really love reading Neville's uh, really um, grand success stories because it encourages me and I'm sure therefore I feel as though it might encourage you too along your manifestation journey so or voyage. Now this is a particular time when I lived in Tampa when I first married Jeffrey Sean. Now mind you when I first learned of Law of Attraction that's where I began and that was learning with Abraham Hicks. Now I went on to learn more about Neville, but Neville, his teachings are based around the psychological aspect of the Bible and scriptural being a psychological affair, right? Rather than it being an, a historical event. And when he would share in his books, I collected one book on the Kindle and when he began quoting scripture, although he was telling it in a different way, it kind of, because I had just come out of religion and it kind of took me off guard a bit, I will be honest with you. And I've shared this many times on videos before as well as on my blog, because I really was having really, really <laughs> panic attacks, should I say. I mean, I'm being a bit dramatic, okay? But you know me. Razzy, I'm a bit dramatic as it is. I'd just like to be, you know, fun and playful with this. But I was very taken back and I, it kind of like deterred me from wanting to learn more about Neville Goddard because I did not want anything to do with the Bible, religion, and so forth. However, I started to recognize as I was learning more and had probably consumed and went to the workshops with the Abraham Hicks and lovely woman, obviously, I, I love her, her and Neville, Esther and Neville, as well as myself, are all Pisces. So I, I really, really love their work, but I felt as though there was limiting beliefs with, with Abraham Hicks. And I always felt as though the universe was outside of myself and I still lacked the power within which I really love about Neville because you become and you know and recognize that you are the god or goddess of your reality, which gives you the empowerment to progress forward. And it really, really was so paramount in changing my paradigm 
about how I feel about myself as well as the world around me. And that was very, very important for me. So anyway, okay, on to the story. So I had, when I first married Jeffrey Sean, listen, you know I love a good prattle, so you're going to have to understand that I like to talk, okay? And just, you know, pour yourself a cup of tea and enjoy yourself. Sit back and enjoy yourself, okay, darlings? So when Jeffrey Sean and I first got married, um, I had pulled up all the, the mauve carpet in our house because Jeffrey owned the home prior to me. He had owned it for 20 plus years. So I moved in with him at that start, right? And I had removed the mauve carpet in the entire house. And that therefore I couldn't, we couldn't afford wood flooring throughout. It was going to be a process that we had to wait for. I wanted to get some Turkish antique Victorian rugs. Now, if you know anything about real authentic and um, antique Turkish rugs, they're a bit dear, okay? And so I wanted them. Now, at this particular time, so I had sort of put that out into the universe or, you know, to, to the great creator saying that I wanted numerous rugs and I needed many because I had an entire 1500 square foot house that needed to have at least something to get us by, right? Now, um, so I set that intention didn't think anything else about it. So therefore I continually work on, I call it the rabbit room because that's where the rabbit, Mr. Uh, Sir Oliver Twisty Topsy had his little cute little uh, bunny hutch and everything. And it was also my, my reading room, my writer's room. And I was going through and trying to uh, eliminate the items that we, that Jeffrey Sean had had in the house prior to me moving in, which was like an old rattan chair that I was just really not, it was not my style. Obviously I like everything Victorian. So I was unloading all of these things and sending them to the charity shop. And this one particular thing, I thought, you know what? This is something like, it was when that style had come out, you know, it's kind of like the bohemian uh, look. And I thought, you know what, I bet you I could sell this on Facebook Marketplace and get, a, get you know, a penny for it so that I could then therefore maybe, you know, go and find something else that I liked in, in, in exchange. And so I put it on the Marketplace. Well, soon enough, it was about a week later and I had um, got a hit on it. And the woman said, oh, could I pop over after work today? And I said, yes, yes, that would be lovely. So as I'm, she's, she got out of her vehicle and she came, knocked on the door and I said, love, I'm going to have to. She said, oh my goodness, I can put it in the back of my, U, my SUV. And I said, oh, that would be lovely, darling. I'll help you to take it out because there was, you know, several pieces and a big cushion and all of that. And so she said, oh, that would be so lovely. Thank you, darling. And so we went and she said, oh, goodness golly, you're going to have to pardon me for a moment because I forgot I've been toting around these particular Victorian Turkish rugs. There were seven of them, okay, seven. And um, she said, I've just not had the heart. My, you know, my husband, we are redoing our entire downstairs and I wanted this bohemian chair and all of that but they were my grandmother's Turkish rugs and I got them out of her house and I've been toting them around in the back of my SUV for six months because I did not want to unload them and just give them to the charity shop and because they have meaning for me and I said oh wow I said um I said oh well I said would you ever be interested in me um, purchasing them from you and she was like no she's like would you like them and she's like no I'll just give them to you freely if you'll take them and I said oh yes I would love them and I would cherish them you know to no end I would cherish them to no end and that is how I got my seven Turkish rugs and if you've seen you see them they're all in the cottage I've had several because I had so many I let I allowed my mom to borrow some in her cottage too as well because um, I had so many and I couldn't fit any more in the cottage like the flooring I just can't I don't have any more room you know I've layered them on top of one another and everything 
But that goes to show you that when you desire something and there is no resistance and you have been very specific and you don't have any bits of bits and bobs of wavering back and forth, you will and naturally, it, it was upon my doorstep and the universe and the great creator is so wonderful in the way that they are able to orchestrate so much, which is really basically your higher being working in unison with the great collective, right? But I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was so grand and so wonderful because it meant something to me. They were antique. They were this little cute ladies, you know, this lady's grandma, grandmommy. And when I opened them up, honestly, they were all rolled up on top of each other. And when I unrolled them, they were exactly what was in my dreams, like exactly the colors, the everything. It was so perfect. So I wanted to leave that with you and I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you derived some benefit from this. And let me know in the comment section if you would really like to hear more success stories because I have thousands, I have loads and loads, darlings. And I think that it's so wonderful to hear of these particular success stories because it makes me so excited and so enthusiastic. And I hope that you are like that as well. All right, darlings, I will leave this with you and I will love you and leave you. And as always, I'm most affably yours until my next whim. Cheers, darlings. Toodle pip.